Let's get started. Does anyone know what EMT stands for? Emergency medical technician. Oh yeah, of course. Of course that's what it is. Did you not know that? Question's at the end. The victim was just hit by a car. They're not moving. You got a possible spinal injury on your hands. What you're gonna wanna do is very carefully violently shake the lower body until it wakes up. Wake up, you lazy spine! It ain't nap time! <coughs> ah, yes! The familiar sound of the ambulance siren! When should it be used? If there's an emergency? Wrong! All day, every day, just speed through those lights. Technically, there's always an emergency somewhere, so you're covered no matter what happens. Plus, it makes it easier to find where you parked. Now, where did we park it? That direction or that direction? I can't tell where it's coming from because uh, my ears are shot. If your patient is unconscious, elevate the legs, get some blood flow into the brain. Then elevate the brain, get some blood flow into the legs. Then elevate them sideways, get some blood flow into the middle part there. As a first responder, how would you treat a burn victim? Prevent infection. Wrong! You're gonna wanna kill the fire with ice. But you don't want to get them all wet. So what are you going to use? That's right, dry ice. If you got any left over, you can create a spooky atmosphere. Why? Questions at the end. Next question. So, yes questions? Wrong! This is one of the most serious situations you'll be dealing with. You got somebody losing a lot of blood, and you want to administer a transfusion. To do so, simply administer the IV to yourself. Ow! Oh. Shouldn't you use donor blood? Oh yeah, great idea, genius. Just fill them up with some rando blood. Oh! Uh-oh, I'm fading. Somebody get me an apple juice! 